Hey y'all, welcome back to Trimmer Creek Acres. So it's been a little while since I posted last, so uh, give you a little update on our farm for this year, 2024, and what we got going on. Let's go check it out. Y'all just gonna follow me the whole time? So as you can see there, we got some new puppies here from Great Pyrenees. If you look around, you're not gonna see our donkeys anymore. We have uh, sold them. They were just uh, costing us too much on our hay and grass and uh, figure I'd get a different uh, livestock guardian and that's what we're working on here, these little puppies. Luckily, uh, hadn't had any issues yet about, you know, stray dogs, coyotes, anything like that before these get bigger, but they're doing well for us now, staying in the pen, staying with their sheep. Sheep are up there uh, relaxing in the shade. It's been pretty hot here in the south, been high 90s this week. All right, another thing that we uh, did here on the farm this year is we fenced in this field here. It goes all the way back there to the edge of the woods. Used to have just electric fence on this uh, pasture here and got tired of taking it down and putting it back up every year. So decided just to add the fence in there. This here is our pig pen area and it is overrun with pumpkins. Uh, we'll usually get pigs in the fall, raise them up, butcher them out. And during that time, we will get leftover pumpkins and uh, that people can't sell and we'll give them to the pigs and they eat them down and fertilize the area. And sure enough, we'll get free pumpkins that grow up. So I'm gonna talk to you about our garden for this year. Um, we're back here in our raised beds now we got our herbs in the very back back there. I uh, got some mint and some other stuff my wife grows. Uh, she does the herb garden. I take care of growing the rest of it. So right behind me, we got all of our lettuce that we grew in this year. Um, it did really well for us. Had a variety pack and just uh, uh, worked the ground, sprinkled it all in there and it just grew up like crazy. It did great for us. Um, hardly had to water it at all, especially this spring when it rained a ton now we're in the summertime and it ain't raining so much um this is all of our carrots basically i just did a little trench and sprinkled it through there i had to go through and space them out had to take out some baby carrots so the other ones can grow in bigger and thicker but now we got tons of carrots and they're about on their way to start picking here i'll just pull one up and show you there we go got some nice looking carrots all right, so another pro project that we started is we're clearing this to open up more pasture. As you can see, we've already taken down the trees. We got them piled up back there in the back, letting them dry out so we can burn those down. And uh, hopefully by this fall, we'll have this pasture fenced in, which will give us about three more acres. All right, so we're at another garden here. This garden didn't do so well for us this year. That's why it's kind of went a little bit of a mess with the weeds and the grass growing through here because I kind of got aggravated and just let it go and see whatever came up. But we had uh, two entire rows of stuff that we planted, didn't even come in. We only had two of our cucumber plants come in. But what did come in, they're doing really good for us. See if I can find one for you. Yeah. We got a nice cucumber right there. And walk around here. We got a few more growing in back there. Just picked five yesterday and looks like we got about five more ready to go. Um, we got another pumpkin that's growing wild up. And there it goes. Right there, if you can see it, it's coming in. Down here is supposed to be our cantaloupe and watermelon the vines are growing it's starting to get flowers up on it um, back behind it we had our squash our squash has been doing great for us we've been having to get about five or six squash off a day running out of room for squash inside the house and that's it for this garden all right, so we have our corn field right here. We just did a little one this year. We didn't plant any popcorn, it's just sweet corn this year, which is Silver Queen. Uh, we had some perfectly straight rows looking real beautiful. Wasn't a very big area, but good enough to what we need. 
until we had a tree that decided to uh, fall and break in half right there and take out about 20 of our corn stalks. So that was very aggravating, along with uh, local rabbits that come through here and nibble on some. But what we have left is doing pretty well. So this is the tree that decided to uh, split in half while we were out of town on vacation. Wonderful to come back to this big old mess. Also had another one in the front field, did the same thing. This one did more damage though. Landed right here on top of this fence. Thanks goodness it held up there on that corner post. But this roof did not do so well and had to be rebuilt. So it's got a new roof on it. The side panels went back on very well. Still have her goats. Got one in there hiding out in the shade since it's almost noon and warming up here. See if this one's gonna come over and say hey. All right, back to our garden. So this is our best garden, as you can tell. I've worked really hard on it, keeping the weeds and the grass out and everything growing. We had, these are all of our tomatoes right here, minus that one pepper plant down the bottom right-hand corner. Um, we only had one pepper plant come up from our seedlings this year. So I went ahead and planted it just to see how it did. And, and it's still barely hanging in there. Don't know if we'll get anything from it this year, but we'll see. Um, as far as our tomatoes go, well, we planted four rows of tomatoes. And as you can see, we got almost two complete rows that are left. Um, we had two, almost two entire rows that totally wiped out right once we transplanted them in the ground outside. Learned a little lesson and think I kept them inside way too long. And next year when I do it, well, we'll take them out sooner and uh, we're gonna put fans in front of them as their uh, little seedlings. That way they get used to the wind and get stronger and see if that helps us out. But they are looking really good. Getting a lot of tomatoes out here. Let's see. We got some tomatoes there. More growing in here. There's a little one. So tomatoes are looking really, really good for us. All right. And then next to our tomatoes, all of that stuff right there is going to be our okra. And if you know anything about okra, well... It's the gift that just keeps on giving. You see, once it comes in and you pick it, it's gonna keep coming back in all the way to the end of the season. And we got okra starting to poke his little head up. So we're gonna be having some okra real soon. Got a nice pretty flower right there. Yep, gonna be having a bunch of okra. And if you're curious, what is going on beside the okra with these cattle panels bent over. Well, this here is the first time growing loofah gourds. Super excited about this. It was kind of a trial thing. If it works well for us, well, we're gonna keep going with it. But I planted one row here. Then I came over to the other side, kept the grass in the middle, planted another row. Got the cattle panels, bent them up, put T-post at the edge of each panel. And then what this is gonna do, as you can see there, the vines will start to grow over and it will keep doing it on both sides. And within the next couple months, this whole thing will be covered. You got a little walkway with grass in between it. And you'll get these giant looking cucumbers called loofah gourds. And you can eat them when they're at that stage right there. Or you let them finish growing out and they get real big. Oh, got some more growing in right there. You let them finish growing out. And what's gonna happen is they will dry out, you peel the skin off, and once you process them, which ain't hard at all, just do a little elbow grease in there. And once you get it processed, well, you got a loofah, which is a big old natural sponge. So we're gonna have sponges left over that we can use around the house, or some that um, we'll be able to sell. So hopefully uh, this keeps growing and doing well for us. And as you can see, we got a big old mess right here. I always, always got projects going on. So I got tired of these old pine trees sitting here and, you know, wanted to get better grass, get less shade. Also plan on putting another garden right, right about there next year. And uh, need to get these pine trees out here. So I got them cut down and I'm gonna get them hauled off to the back where we're gonna burn them up later on this year. 
And then, I don't know if you can tell or not, right over there at the barn, that outside area where that vine's growing up, well, that's more pumpkins. That whole old chicken area is covered in pumpkins. No longer had the chickens in there. I'll go show you where they are now. So this right here is our chicken tractor we got built. We got a door entrance on the front. And one of those Japanese um, beetle traps up top and it's really nice because they'll collect them inside and I can open up the bottom. They'll drop right out on the ground and the chickens go over there and just peck them off and eat them, which is great to keep them out of our garden and free food for the chickens. And then they got their nesting boxes in the back. So my boys chore in the morning or in the afternoons, I mean, he'll go out there and uh, collect her eggs for us. So looks like uh, he may have already got them. I don't see any eggs in there. But yeah, got a roosting bar back here for them. Got a cover on it, got a tarp. So I got sun and shade. Keep them out of the rain and the elements, and it does well for them. And basically, you got these eye hooks at the bottom. I'll run a chain through there, hook it up to our gator. And in about five to seven days, depending on how the grass is, once they've eaten it almost all the way down, I'll go ahead and move it. And I'll show you what it looks like in the stages. So this, they just got on a couple days ago. This, they just moved from a couple days ago. This one, they moved from about a week ago. This one's about two weeks ago. This one's three weeks ago. And this one is a month. So it adds a lot of nitrogen to the ground. It takes about a month for that grass to recover and grow back. And uh, I'm going to walk it all through here and fertilize the ground and they get free food out of it, which helps cut down on our food cost. All right, y'all. Well, I hope you enjoyed the tour today. Um, quick little video of what we got going on and our new projects we started and some new things we have here on the farm and uh, some dreams that we have coming up on the farm. Um, we also got one more big surprise that's coming up. Hopefully by this winter, uh, we'll have it built. Don't want to spoil it yet, but uh, if we get it going this winter, I'll definitely uh, keep you informed and show you the project. So until next time, God bless.